I'd love to start with human beings were drawn to what's familiar. Mm -hmm. And it's across the board, whether it's food or music or romantic partners. And there's a theory called attractions of deprivation, which explains how we are drawn to people who can wound us in a very familiar way to how we were wounded as children. It's home, it, it feels safe, it feels comfortable, even if it's chaotic. And our psyche, does a wonderful job, and it's all subconscious, recreating the scene of the crime in an attempt to change its ending. I'll give you an example. I, I grew up with, my parents were immigrants from China, and my father was an entrepreneur. And the only way I got love and attention was when I got good grades. And I learned at a young age, I'm like, oh, when I get an A, I get $40, okay. And it was great, I adapted to become a super achiever. But when I grew up, I constantly found myself pining over people, chasing over people, editing myself, making sure I could do all the things, give all the gifts. Mm. And I was like, why am I always heartbroken? Why do I always feel anxious? And so even though the types of people looked very different, the pattern was the same. It was repeating this exact same thing as a child, as if I could only prove myself, edit myself, I'll finally get that love I, I really wanted. And the emotional experience kept repeating.